Hello, everyone. This is Paul Bertarelli reporting from Arrow 2013 in Friedrichshafen, Germany. If you follow the worldwide car market, you know that in the U.S. you can hardly beg a diesel-powered car. That's not true in Europe, where almost 70% of the entire car market is diesel-powered. And that's uh, created some interesting technology, including this little three-cylinder engine that's used in the European version of the Mercedes-Benz smart car. Now, you see the smart car in the U.S., but it's only gasoline power. This particular engine has been adapted for aircraft use. Uh, it's quite light and has an extremely good fuel efficiency. Let's take a closer look at it. Yeah, here you see our new product, a diesel engine basic, based on Mercedes original motor. This is not changed. We have an actual power of uh, 80 horsepower and uh, consumption of really in average seven liters per hour at cruising speed in an FK9 model at about cruising speed 170 kilometers per hour. So uh, this is a um, really, really reliable motor with a lot of safety and reliability um, developments in detail um, in the uh, churning uh, between motor and propeller. So uh, we were able to, to cope the uh, the problems of vibrations. Everybody knows this is the three-cylinder uh, diesel with a, a lot of vibrations, but we coped it. We are now at a vibration level that is uh, absolutely comparable with the normal four-stroke motors by Rotax seven years development time and uh, now we are at the point to, that we can say we have um, a motor with, which will run uh, with a TBO of 1500 hours. The first motor ran 1800. We opened it, inspected all detailed parts, all valves and whatever up to the um, <coughs> each part main parts of the motor and we didn't find any, any, really any um, damage or even critical uh, points. So we, sh we are rather sure that we are within one, two years at a TBO of 2,000 hours. We have a complete weight firewall forward of 89 kilos inclusive all fluids, water, uh, oil and inclusive all uh, parts which are not um, assembled in this model. Pended market is of course long-range flyers, so pilots which have to run 1,000 up to 2,000 kilometers, flight schools, uh, flight clubs, or people which are interested in high technology mo motor and also really comfortable motor because we even at minus 10 degrees we have an automatic control for cockpit heating and automatic control of cooler temperature so you don't have anything to do with controlling by taping or freezing in winter time the moment we are only focused on the market of ultralights experimentals and uh, LSA in US. In the moment, this is the only for the fair, please ask us uh, later on. Uh, in the moment, we have a price of about 16,200 netto plus taxes, but completely uh, inclusive as all assembly parts, all necessary parts, inclusive cockpit installation switches and displays. Interested in more information, uh, you could look up in the internet under flyecho.net or flyecho.ero.